Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's like there's some- You're sitting on a show that is dedicated to doing reddits with children and the main focal point is, um, you know, his main focal point and his fan base are kids that are frustrated with their parents and he right. does parent overreaction videos to, so he's already pulling the audience where kids are mad at their parents and that's how they even find him. Like there's parent overreaction videos. But I mean, the whole reason he doesn't do discord anymore is because he, he started with an older, like the Howard Stern based um, adult content. And so then he started moving on to the children and he started inviting children into his server. Well, he, I wasn't in that server, so I didn't know about it until somebody said, Hey, like he's sharing, he's sharing your porn with, because I'm a cam girl. Yes. I have nudes out there. Oh. Um, he's sharing your nudes with 13 year olds. So I joined the server and I look and the kids very blatantly, like a child, he even says he is 13. He says a little kid and Jimmer's like, well, Hey, go check out this channel. Cause that's where the porn's at. And I sent it to discord and within minutes, the discord got shut down. He claims he shut it down on his own, but that's, I mean, I don't believe that because it was within minutes of me talking to somebody with discord and I have receipts and emails that I'm sure I could find for that, but um, yeah. I'm sure they're already out there anyways. So well, it's probably um, not a new story. Well, but you know, he, you know, the more receipts they say. And Jimmer, you know, just so you know, because I know you're watching this and I know you're probably streaming it because you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> if I find out that you're sharing my porn with other kids, I'll get your, your shit deleted again, just so you know. That's right. So try it. Yeah, try. Like, I'm, that's why, you know, that's why I'm not only because I was his, you know, one of his latest, you know, victims, but, you know, just hearing the things that I've heard and I'm just been horrified. And I'm like, this guy is trying to make his way into the true crime community. It's the last place he needs to be. I mean, he doesn't even need to be on YouTube or anywhere like that. Um, and it's just, I'm gonna do everything I can to stop him. I'm pretty sure one of his IP addresses was banned, but he moved, so he was able to make this new channel. He's been deleted several times. Like, he's lost several channels. I don't know how he's still on, but honestly, I don't worry about it too much because he'll get deleted again. Like, he can't help himself and he has to, you know, be himself, and that includes him just being toxic. So